This is an unrestored Key Math Model 1955 made for the PTT in the Netherlands. This one was used in the United States in its later life because it has a four, old four prong plug. And if I flip the phone over, it has the Made in Holland sticker. This was done by Tandy Electronics, also known as Radio Shack, when they took some of these phones and sold them in their stores during the Bell System times. This one, I don't know what year it's from, but I know it has a later dial on it. This is the uh, HEMAF dial. Sometimes they were made by Crone. Actually, they are made by Crone, but this is, I know they're marked with uh, HEMAF on the other side. And here's the sound of it. Still has its original cords. Restraints have ripped and split from all the use. This phone has received over its years. You can also see they're coming out here as well. Bakelite is in good shape, it's just really dirty. I think, I cannot remember, I used to have one of these phones a long time ago. Can't remember if this is one, this is a like a hang up button. I'll have to see when I hook it up on my little telephone analyzer. Here's the window for the number card. Anyway, Anyway, this is the Model 1955. Like I said, I used to have one of these. It did not have the original handset than this one. This is the original handset on this phone. This is the HEMAF handset. The one I had was on the uh, Ericsson phone made for the PTT. I think it's the Ericsson Model 19. Correct me if I'm wrong. Model 1951. It had one of those handsets, and it also had one of the dials with the bake light. Uh, Finger wheel on it. Some people actually call this the bat phone because it looks like it has the uh, ears on it. And some say it looks like it's designed to go fast. It looks aerodynamic. But it's kind of a clever design. Is that no damage in the bake light. It's in phenomenal shape. Here's a look. This is one thing I always thought was a cool feature on these Model 1955s. They had these plungers here that had HEMAF on it. Which I thought was kind of a neat feature on these phones. It's a very sturdy phone. I'm very impressed by the quality. As well as the quality of the Ericsson Model 1951 for the PTT. So that's all for this video. I will have another video coming up with me testing out my telephone analyzer. As you can see, it's a different environment. I just moved in a couple weeks ago into my new apartment down here in Fredericksburg. I have not set up landline, and I don't think I will because it's just an extra thing to pay. So all I have is my telephone analyzer to test out these phones. But it does have landline hookup if I want to get it later on. But for now, I'm going to uh, do without it. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. And thanks for watching.